Hey, Quad Bros, what's going on, guys? Welcome back here to the channel. So for this video, guys, I want to do a basic beginner's guide going over all the different kind of parts of Enlisted because I know a lot of people have been getting into the game recently and have just been kind of overwhelmed by looking at this screen and there's all these different things that are kind of, uh, you know, here, all these different tabs, all these different campaigns, all these different buttons to press, and, you know, it can be kind of overwhelming. It can be pretty complex. Um, so I wanted to do something where I can just go over every little part of the game really quickly and then um, save other videos and more in-depth analysis and things like that for uh, separate videos. So we'll have links to those as we go through. So guys, again, if you're a veteran of this game, um, I really doubt there's much information here that you're going to get. But if you're a brand new beginner and you got to this screen and you have no idea what's going on, or maybe you played a couple games and you've hear, heard people talking about the academy or leveling up your troops or perks or things like that, and you have no idea what is going on with that, then this is the video for you. We're going to be going through all of that, starting off here with just this main soldier screen. We're going to go through everything. So let's jump right into it, guys. Starting off here with the soldier screen, we're going to quickly go through this, guys. So premium up here. These are all the premium bonuses. If you click this, you can see here's all the bonuses of premium, your active time left, how much it costs, so on and so forth. Premium, I recommend for you guys. Play the game for a couple weeks. If you like it, grab premium. Then we have our currency, bronze, silver, gold orders, bronze, silver, gold troop orders. Uh, bronze are your basic, silver are your uh, good ones, and gold are your really unique ones. The silver and the gold you get from the battle pass that we'll talk about shortly bronze you get from playing the game then you have your enlisted gold i kind of skipped over that but this is your premium currency you have other currencies here like your gold orders for vehicle skins but these are just random orders that exist in the game then we have our menus you can see the change log um, you can go to your graphical and game options so these are my game options i'm going to slowly scroll down this for anyone who actually cares about my in-game settings there you go that's where you're going to change all of your graphical settings and things like that, guys. There's nothing that I do that's weird or anything. Here's the controls, guys. Controls, you can see here, this is my sensitivity. It's just one. I have 800 DPI. Again, for those of you that care, I don't recommend just copying me. I recommend finding your own comfortable kind of state. But the thing I do recommend is turning off aim acceleration. Aim acceleration is really, really bad. Um, not a good thing to have. Sorry about my mic. Then we've got uh, the other thing that people recommend. I don't know if I care a whole lot, but things that I know people do is they put mark enemy on um, left click. They bind left click and shoot to buy or to mark enemy. I personally don't recommend doing that, but if you struggle with marking enemies, something that you can do. Then you can switch your campaign, clicking switch campaign right here. You can go to Normandy or Berlin um, or Tunisia if it's out when you're watching this. Then we've got the Battle Pass here, guys. The Battle Pass is great. You can buy the Elite Battle Pass or just stay in the Free Battle Pass. If you have the Free Battle Pass, you can advance it once per day by completing these tasks right here. If you have the Elite, you can do three per day um, and level it up three times per day by completing nine battle tasks. So 75 days to complete 60 levels. If you're a free-to-play player, it can be pretty rough. You can only miss 15 days total. If you're an Elite player, you can miss a lot of days as long as you are consistently doing it i recommend the elite battle pass guys you get a lot of the gold back very very quickly at level you see at level 10 here you get 400 of your thousand investment back great deal in my honest opinion but hey to each their own achievements guys you can see these are all your basic achievements they get you some nice silver orders hopefully we see more achievements coming in the future and we've got our game mode tutorial practice squads lone fighters squads is the standard game mode that i recommend everybody plays lone fighters is the game mode where there are no ai playing the game they are there's no squad ai it's just you know all players running around or at least there should be i recommend squads i think if you're playing enlisted the cool thing about the game is the squads but hey again to each their own we've got our server stuff north america europe east europe you can select which one You've got the join any team button. This will let you uh, play as either side in a campaign. If you have this selected, I don't recommend selecting this at the beginning. I think that you guys should just be playing as, you know, um, whichever faction you find more interesting and focusing on one campaign, especially if you're a non-premium player. Then here's how you add players to your friends list. Just by going here, search for friends, search for your friends. That's how you invite friends to your group, invite to the group. And then over on the left here, guys, we've got our squad. This is where we're going to be spending a lot of time in the game, so listen up. You can see all of our different squads and the soldiers in these squads are vehicle squads. You can see all of our extra squads. We can swap them out by clicking this button here. Dump them in. 
if you're a premium player, you can open new uh, slot squads or new slots for squads, slot squads, uh, by paying that costs 500 coins and then 1,000 coins and then 1,500, I think, or something. I don't think you need any more than one. To be honest with you guys, the only reason I have it is so I can bring more squads to make videos for you guys. So if you want to swap them again, just drag and drop, drag and drop. Then, guys, looking at these squads themselves, we can see how many, you know, soldiers are allowed to be in the squad, the squad name. You can see here I've got three out of four troopers and one out of one engineer. So this is my engineer guy here. You now he's got the gear. If I wanted to slot this guy in, great. Now I've got four engineers. You know, I'm going to click manage soldiers, so on and so forth. If I want to change their gear, I'm going to click on it. And now I'm in this gear screen. So if I want to change their weapon, again, drag and drop, drag and drop, you know, whatever. You can see the stats for all the weapons on the right side here. You can see a little info, how many stars they're worth, you know, the caliber of the weapon, the hit power, you know, down here, the, the recoil, the reload time, the feed system, all of this stuff. All of this stuff here uh, for the weapon stats are, you know, on this right side. The other important thing is you can disassemble your weapons by spending or by destroying them. And then you can use that disassembled stuff to upgrade them. You can see the cost of the upgrade, but it, you have to have gone through the squad upgrade system to do so. So this weapon, I could upgrade. Uh, there's also some upgrade orders you can get from the battle pass. I could upgrade it if I had enough, but I don't have enough as of right now. So um, again, you need to go through the upgrade system more on that later. But you can see all the stats here and disassembling here. Um, you can see this is red. This is because I have not upgraded my soldier, my trooper twos to have secondary weapons. I have to go through the squad system to do so, but I do have backpacks, sidearms. So if you see anything red here and you're not allowed to do it, it's because you got to upgrade, right? So if I want to give this guy a sidearm, great. He's got a little garbage pistol, grenades, med kits, mines. Again, more of these later, guys. We will I will tell you how to get all of these as we progress through the video. But just understand that's where all that stuff is if you want to outfit your soldiers. Then, guys, we've got perks. Perks here if you want to get new perks, if you want to retrain perks, or you just want to, you know, whatever. It's all here. I'm not going to go over perks right now. I've got guides on that. You can click those in the top right of your screen, but just understand this is where the perks are at, just this little tab here. And then you can, you know, change the name of some of your soldiers, give them goofy names, you know, whatever you want to do. If you want to change to the other side in a campaign, the other faction, you just give it a little click there back and forth. That's it for the soldier screen, guys. I didn't miss anything, I believe. Let's move on to the campaign. So guys, here we are in the campaign. Campaign's pretty straightforward. This just shows you the stuff that you will unlock, what you have unlocked, and how long it will take you to unlock things. So you can see at the top here what level it is, how far you are from unlocking these. So when you get to the end of this little bar here, you unlock the thing underneath it. So when I unlock, when I finish level 23, I'm going to get the RM40 mortar. I can click on it like I just did there. You know, look at it, see its stats down here. You know, if I want to look at, say, the AVS here, uh, the AVS 36, I can click it. Oh, look, there's the AVS. There's all of its stats. It's a fully automatic gun. It's got, you know, 10 bullets or 15 bullets, I mean, you know, so on and so forth. If I want to check out a vehicle, you know, I can click this squad. I get some background information. I see, you can see the vehicle. Great. There's the plane. It's got a bunch of bombs on it. You know, you can just get the information here. Now, guys, when you play the campaigns, you unlock XP and gear and weapons for the campaign that you were playing. So if you're playing the Allies in Moscow, you unlock Allied Moscow stuff. You don't unlock Allied Berlin, Allied Tunisia, Allied anything, just Allied Moscow, right? Because you are playing the Allies in Moscow, at least at the time of this video, you do not get XP for any of the other campaigns as you play through it. If you want to switch to the other campaign and check out what gear they have, you just click this little button. And now look, I'm looking at the Axis stuff here. Great. Let's move on to upgrades. So here we are at the upgrade screen, guys. You can see, again, allies axis switching between them, switching between your two squads. We're going to just, again, look at the allies here. It's what we've been looking at. You can see all of your different squads arranged by the ones you currently have equipped. So these are my squads I have currently equipped. They match with my soldiers tab. And then down here are all the other available squads that I have in the game. So we have a bunch of different information here. We can see this is the squad name. We see what level it is, how many squad points we have. And then we have the option of buying some levels out. I don't recommend doing this. You can do this just by playing. It doesn't take that long. And also it gets really, really expensive sometimes. So just keep that in mind. Now we have three different trees here. We've got blue, red, and yellow. Blue is our tree for this squad itself. So this is squad 
upgrades, as it says there. It increases the amount of squads you can have in your battle. Um, it changes what type of troops can come to your battle. So you get a choice between bringing in a bomber, um, you know, an AT soldier or an assaulter. You can bring more engineers if you get these upgrades. You know, you get more XP for the squad. These are the really important ones. Normally, you want to go straight down this middle path here and get all these different squad XP bonuses to let you level up faster. Um, yeah, you get more squad size, different types. For the engineer squad specifically, you can get stuff like more um, more AA guns, like being able to build AA guns, being able to build AT guns. And then if it's the engineer two group, you can build a machine gun nest. So again, guys, really the important thing here is the squad size upgrades or the squad upgrades are just for this squad. It's not relevant to any other squad, but the personnel upgrades are relevant to other squads. These are for whatever soldier type is linked to this class. So for example, this engineer two group squad, it has engineer twos linked to it. So as I level up this red tree here, it will level up my engineer twos. It will make them get more XP. It will get more backpacks and it will get sidearms. You remember when I was talking about being able to bring secondary weapons and things like that? This is how you do it. You got to go through the red tree for that soldier class. So as of right now, my engineer twos, they cannot have sidearms. If I come over to soldiers and I go to an engineer two, engineer two right here and i click this guy you can see i cannot have sidearms i gotta upgrade him through the squad system that has to happen first and that is right here i gotta get this upgrade before i can give him sidearms so just understand guys you want to go through this tree this red tree is very important it's one of the most important trees it's actually probably the most important tree because this helps you level up your troops in the academy it lets you get backpacks which are really powerful and it lets you get sidearms and things like that so just understand good tree to get through they're all good but specifically this one now the yellow trees for the weapon weapons are linked to certain squads the svt 38 the semi-automatic rifle is linked to this engineer 2 squad it's very very important to go through this tree depending on the weapon so stuff like the svt 38 you want to go through it stuff like maybe the you know mosin rifle if you really dig the mosin rifle then you want to upgrade it but you know maybe you're using a different weapon so you don't really care you know, this is just important to go through for weapons that you really enjoy using and you want to upgrade because, you know, over in the weapon tab here, you can see if I were to go and disassemble, you know, um, like these grenade launchers here, I only get four to six, right? It's not very valuable. But since with this Winchester, I've maxed out and I get a bonus here, that's because of my yellow tree upgrade. So I get this bonus here. I get a discount here. Very, very powerful. Again, that's through the yellow tree, right? Disassemble bonuses modification cost bonuses and then we have the modification tuning these don't exist in the current iteration of the game if it does come out and when it comes out i will make an additional video for all of these upgrades with the veteran and the modification tuning but that's it for the upgrades guys again you can swap back to the axis it's all very similar um, vehicles same thing upgrading vehicles stuff like that let's move on to the logistics now, here we are in the logistics panel, guys. There is a lot of stuff going on here. There are three main areas that you want to look at. You got your weapons delivery, your troop reinforcements, and your equipment delivery. So first off, with weapon delivery, if we click this, it brings us into this new tab here where you can get a random weapon delivery, and you can see all the different things that are here. They are equal chances, and then you have rare chances for pistols and for axes, and then for whatever else they might add in the future. Those are equal chances down there, but they are rare to get. I believe it's like a 5% chance or something like that, maybe even lower. And if you click the little info button, you can go down. You can just see every little thing that is possible to get from this nice little goodie box. You can get any weapon from that list and you can get it at any rank. So sometimes you're going to luck out. You're going to get a five star maxed out, you know, PPD or something like that. Sometimes you're just going to get one stars, right? It's, it's just random. You're going to get a lot of bronze orders if you got premium. You're going to be able to spam this. I recommend doing it. The important thing to note with this, guys, is everything has an equal chance. So if you want to grab a lot of a weapon, you want to spend your bronze orders when you unlock that weapon because that is the point that you're going to have the highest chance. So, for example, here, if we go to the campaign, we can see back here the Winchester, level 13. When I unlock the Winchester at level 13, I want to spend bronze orders at level 13 for the Winchester because as I level up and as I continue through the campaign, this loot box here, this little random weapons delivery thing is going to get filled up with more and more stuff that is going to bog down my chances of getting the Winchester. So make sure that you guys are doing that 
as best you can. Now, there are other options here that are going to, uh, you're going to spend silver orders to get. Again, silver orders come from the battle pass. We talked about those or, uh, earlier. We can see the total amount we have in the top right. So for example, if I wanted to pick up, you know, an SVT 38, you can see it tells me I have 41 bronze orders. This will cost me three of those, or excuse me, silver orders, 41 silver orders, and it will cost me three silver orders to pick it up. Now, levels zero or one, I guess, one through 10, I believe cost one silver order, 11 through 20 cost two silver orders, and then 21 plus cost three. And I assume later on in 30s, it'll cost four. But as of right now, you can see how it scales up for the silver orders. But this is a way to guarantee yourself to get this weapon. So I don't have to play around. I don't have to play any games or anything like that. And you will get a random upgrade level as well with this thing. It won't be one star. It'll be a little bit nicer. And then we have our, you know, PPDs, our assault weapons, our heavy weapons, our tank spare parts. I don't recommend doing this. It's really expensive. And then our aircraft spare parts as well. You can see the same thing with the axes here, guys. Same thing, just different weapons. Then, guys, we have our troop reinforcement. Troop reinforcement is very similar. You have your bronze troop orders. This is what you should be doing most of the time. Um, really, what you care about here, guys, is that you can get these later troopers and stuff like that, or maybe you need some gunners and stuff. It's a good source of spending your silver orders. But you don't send, you don't spend bronze orders and bronze troop orders on anything other than this thing right here. So. You know, feel free to spam it as much as you want to. You'll have to clear out a lot of guys, but go ahead and just spam it. And again, equal chance of all of these in here. And it's same thing applies. Get them when you first unlock them. That is the best time. In fact, my recommendation, guys, is this, this is kind of tedious. Um, but if you guys are coming to a new campaign and you have a ton of bronze orders, you should be spending all of your bronze orders at level one to get a ton of troopers that have, you know, high rank, rank three, four, five you know, spam that as much as possible because otherwise late in the game, you're going to be getting a bunch of fighter pilots and a bunch of attackers, uh, attack pilots and tankers and things like that, that you're not really going to want. So make sure to get a bunch of really good troopers when you first get the game. That's it for troop reinforcements. So let's go over to equipment delivery. This is all of your gear and stuff like that. So you'll unlock these as you level up through the campaign. You can see it again in the campaign back here. I believe it was like level 18 or something. Oh, it probably doesn't happen anymore. It doesn't show you anymore. But you unlock stuff as you level up. You can unlock more gear, specifically mines, backpacks, large ammo pouches, grenade pouches, grenades, you know, so on and so forth. You're going to unlock these and they cost bronze orders and they get more and more expensive as you level up. So just understand, you know, if you want a large grenade pouch, you got to get to the level and then you spend your bronze orders, you know, stock up on med kits, grab some ammo pouches, and then you know, you can go and if you've got the campaign upgrade or the squad upgrade, like we mentioned before, the backpack, right? You can you guys see how this is all linking together. So if we want to come over here and we want a backpack, we need to make sure that we have the upgrade here in the red tree. And then we come over to the soldier and then we can now give him a backpack, right? Or an ammo pouch, ammo pouch, backpack, same thing. Okay, so that's how you do that, guys. Other stuff in here, guys, we have the Battle Pass Unique Weapons. If you got the gold orders, you get those through the Battle Pass, like we mentioned. We have the gold vehicle orders right here. We have the Battle Pass Unique Soldiers. So essentially, gold weapon orders, gold vehicle orders, and gold troop orders for that. And then you'll have some premium stuff down below, premium squads, stuff like that. If you want to know if premium squads are worth getting, check out my video on premium squads. And I, I've ranked those in both Berlin and Moscow as of right now. Now, guys, let's move on to the final thing, the Academy. Here we are in the Academy. And you can see this is how we're going to upgrade our soldiers. So I've got, you know, rank threes or something like that. You know, I want to turn them into rank fours. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do some sort of insane battle royale system where we send our troops to fight to the death in, you know, in some twisted battle royale world um, where they, they fight to the death and uh, consume each other and then become more powerful. So you can see here, again, three two stars turns into one three star, right? Three twos turns into a three star, right? One three. So you can see how you're going to need a lot of troops. You're going to need the higher rank troops. 
and you're going to be funneling a lot, a lot, a lot of troops into this academy system to get the higher rank soldiers, right? So the really important thing here, guys, is you're not going to be able to send these guys to the academy unless you have the appropriate upgrades in this system. So like I mentioned before, in this red tree, for the engineer twos, I don't have this, right? I don't have these upgrades for the academy. That's what these things are here. So if I come to my academy and I come to my engineer three, right? If I want to level this guy up, doesn't work. I have to get the higher training level, right? I have to get this right here. I got to go through this tree to be able to use that. So make sure you're doing that on all of your squads as best as you can. It is a process. It does take a while, but just understand that you do need to do that. Now, the squads or the soldiers that go into the academy need to be the same rank, but they don't need to be the same class. So for example, if I wanted to send two trooper twos and a tank or two, I can do that. You can see here, and then I get a new soldier of one of these three. So one of these three guys will end up surviving. I can always choose which one that if you have the option to do so, there are some like training orders, right? You, you can uh, you can select one to survive the battle royale. You can give them, you know, an extra gun and he and he murders the other ones or something like that. Whatever happens in this weird gulag system. Uh, but just understand they don't, they don't have to be the same class, but they do need to be the same rank and it will be one of the random ones. So like maybe, you know, if you have a bunch of fighter pilots like me, you know, maybe you can do like two and then like throw in like a like an assaulter or something like that and then hope your assaulter is the one that wins or maybe do like like two assaulters or maybe like a um like a trooper right like now it's a pretty low chance that the fighter pilot's gonna make it like maybe i want the assaulter to win but you know who, whoever you know and then you're gonna click start training boom there it's going i can choose the soldier i want to survive you know, I want the assaulter to survive. I'm not going to do that because I don't really care. It's only two stars, but you can choose if you want to. And then if I want to finish it quickly, I can do finish now. It's going to cost 10. And then we can see Ivan survived. The assaulter survived. And you can see now he is three star. He's a rank three and he's got an extra little perk slot there that I can do. So that's how the academy works, guys. This is really important to level up a lot of your guys, you know, to get your guys higher ranked. This does happen even when you're not playing. The higher rank soldiers take a really long time. Turning four stars into five stars takes, I believe, 24 hours, even as a premium player. So it's like two days for non-premium players. So just understand that. But that's the academy, guys. You're going to get perks. You're going to send troops to this weird battle royale system. And then they go plus one rank. So that's everything, guys. Those are all the different menus as far as I'm aware. I probably missed something. So if I did, let me know down in the comments below, guys. And uh, just ask questions. If you guys have any questions, come over to twitch.tv slash heyquadro. I'm an open book. I love to answer you guys' questions and talk about stuff. And uh, I'd love to have you guys over there. Remember, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out, guys. I do appreciate it. And then you can also join our community Discord. The link for that is down in the description below if you want to join in our community, play some games with us, join in on stream, play some games, you know, so on and so forth. Love to have you guys over there. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.